Philippe Wynne was an American singer and songwriter best known for his work as the lead vocalist for the soul group The Spinners. He was born on April 3, 1941, in Cincinnati, Ohio. When he was just six years old, his parents divorced. Philippe and his three siblings, Annie Walker, Michael Leon Walker, and Margaret Walker were placed in an orphanage. Some years later, Philippe and his brother, Michael, ran away from the orphanage and headed to Detroit, Michigan, to find their mother. While in Detroit, the two youngsters fell in love with music and eventually formed a gospel group called the Walker Singers. Soon after that, he switched to R&B music, where he eventually attained some measure of success. Wynn attended Northern High School in Detroit, where he formed his first singing group, The Parliaments. The group included future Motown star George Clinton, and they performed at local venues and high schools. After high school, Wynn attended college for a brief period before dropping out to focus on his music career. Wynn's first professional job in music was as a member of the group The Sunliners, which was led by songwriter and producer Harvey Fuqua. The group recorded for the Tri-Fi label, which was owned by Fuqua and Motown founder Barry Gordy's sister Gwen. The Sunliners had some regional success with their single Pretty Little Girl in 1962, but the group disbanded soon after. After the Sunliners disbanded, Wynn joined the Detroit-based group the Detroit Emeralds, which had some success with their single Showtime in 1968. He started singing with Bootsy Collins and the Pacemakers in 1968, and with James Brown shortly thereafter. Wynn then spent time in Germany as the lead singer of the Afro Kings, a band from Liberia, before he replaced his cousin, G.C. Cameron, as one of the lead vocalists for The Spinners. The Spinners had been together since the late 1950s, but they had not achieved national success until they signed with Atlantic Records in 1972. The group's lineup at the time included Bobby Smith, Henry Fambrow, Purvis Jackson, Billy Henderson, and Philippe Wynn. The group's first album for Atlantic, titled Spinners, included the hit single I'll Be Around, which reached number three on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Wynn quickly became known as the group's lead vocalist, and his powerful, soulful voice was a key factor in their success. The Spinners went on to have a string of hit singles in the 1970s, including Could It Be I'm Falling in Love, One of a Kind, Love Affair, and The Rubber Band Man. Wynn's performances on these songs helped establish him as one of the premier soul singers of the era. After several years with the group, he wanted the group's name changed to Philippe Wynn and the Spinners. When this was denied, he left the group and launched a solo career, with Alan Thicke as his manager. His first album, Starting All Over, was released on the Cotillion label in 1977, but was not promoted. He released two more solo albums, Philippe Wynne in 1978 and Wynne Jammin in 1980, but neither album achieved the same level of success as his earlier work with The Spinners. He also made a guest appearance on the song Something Inside My Head by Gene Dunlap, and in the song Whip It by the Treacherous Three. His fortunes turned upwards again when he joined George Clinton's Parliament Funkadelic. He performed with them on several recordings, and was a featured vocalist on the Funkadelic single, Not Just, Knee Deep, a number one hit on the Billboard R&B chart. While associated with Parliament Funkadelic, Wynn also appeared on the Bootsy Collins album, Sweat Band. Wynn's final solo album was the self-titled Philippe Wynn, released by Sugar Hill Records in 1984. In July of 1984, while performing at Ivy's nightclub in Oakland, California, Wynn suffered a heart attack and died the following morning. Despite his relatively short career, Philippe Wynn left a lasting legacy in the world of soul music. 
His powerful and emotional performances with the Spinners helped define the sound of soul in the 1970s and continue to inspire new generations of musicians. His influence can be heard in the work of contemporary artists such as John Legend and Justin Timberlake, who have cited him as an inspiration. Wynn's distinctive vocal style was characterized by his ability to convey deep emotion and passion in his performances. He was also known for his unique ability to improvise and add his own personal touches to songs, which made his live performances particularly captivating. In addition to his musical talent, Wynn was also known for his kind and generous personality. He was loved by his fans and fellow musicians alike, and his legacy continues to be celebrated to this day. We are proud to call Philippe Wynn in Ohio is music legend.